Holy shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. What do you think about our birch tree, sugar? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So... Why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really?
Ah, it's hot as balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. Right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Okay, I found the opening.
now lug this ship to the boiler myself? Crispy critters, that's the wrong door. Sure. It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological. And everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so.